Hello everyone, this is Harsh and you are watching WPF World. Welcome to another series of WPF tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the layout panel. By the end of this tutorial, we will learn what are the layout panels and how to use WPF layout panels to arrange and size controls in our user interface. So without wasting the time, let's get started. In WPF, a panel is a container control that is used to arrange and group other controls. A panel organizes its child controls either in horizontal or vertical stack or using grid-based layout. This allows developers to create complex customizable user interface that can be adapted to different screen size and resolution. WPF includes several built-in panel types. Each panel type provides its own set of property and method for arranging and managing its child controls and allowing developers to create a wide range of user interface layout. Additionally, WPF provides support for creating custom panel types, allowing developers to define their own layout model and behaviors. Some of the key panel types in WPF includes stack panel, wrap panel, dock panel, grid and canvas. What stack panel does? It arranges child controls in horizontal or vertical stack. How to use the stack panel? Let's see with an example. Go to main window. For now I will comment this. To use the stack panel we have to use the stack panel like this and here we have the orientation like how we want to show the controls horizontal or vertical. I will select horizontal for now. Here I will add two text blocks text equal to first. I will say second. If you run this then this will be arranged in horizontal manner. Let's see the result. If you see this is horizontally arranged here first and second. If you want to make it vertical then you can make orientation as vertical. Now if you run this then you can see see it is arranged in vertical manner like first is on top and second is below the first right. This is how we can use the stack panel. Now what is wrap panel? Wrap panel is used to arrange the child controls in horizontal or vertical stack wrapping to a new row or column when there is no more space. I will replace stack panel with wrap panel. Okay, now let's run and see. Now I am reducing the size of this. See, if there is no enough space vertically, then it will arrange in horizontal manner, right? In the same way, we can do for horizontal arrangement. See, now I am decreasing the size of this. Okay, we have enough space, that's why it's not coming below. So I will add some space. Now I am trying to make it smaller. See, when I make the window smaller, it is coming to the next line, right? This is how the panel works. What is use of dock panel? It arranges child controls so that they are docked to the top, bottom, left or right edge of the panel. How to use that? Let's see with an example. I will replace the panel with dock panel. Okay, it is not supported here, so I will remove this. Now I will say dock panel dot dock equal to bottom. Okay, for this I will say dock panel dot dock equal to right. Okay, I will add two more and we will say top and left. Okay, first top, second, second left. Okay, let's run and see. If you see this first text block, it is there, means bottom of the screen. You can see here the second, this right side, right? And first top means this is the first top text box on top, okay? And the second left means second left is left of the window, right? Like this, this dog panel works, right? Now we will see what is grid. It arranges child control in a grid of row and column. So here we will have row and column. So I will replace it with dog panel with grid, okay? Now to make a row and column, we have to use the grid row definition. And here we will have row definition and here we can set the height of row. Let's say I will say 25. I want 4 row. Okay. So I will add 3 more. 4 row is there. Okay. Now if you want to add the column, you can use the grid column definition. Okay. And here you can specify the width of the column. Okay. Like this you can do. Now I want 2 column. Okay. Now here I will remove these things. I will say grid dot row equal to 0 means first row grid dot column equal to 1 means second column like this you can have and here I will say grid row 3 means fourth row first column second row first column second column okay and here I will say 1 here I will say 0 okay so it is first row second call okay here third row first call column okay this one, third row, this is fourth row. So, fourth row, 
first column, third row, second column. Two means third row means this one, third row, second column. This one, second row, first column. Okay, now let's run and see. See, this is second row, first row, second row, third row, fourth row. There are two columns, first column and second column. If you see first row, second column, this one is first column, this one is second column. So second row, first column, third row, second column, fourth row, first column. Okay. Now we will see what is canvas panel. The canvas is used to arrange the child control by explicitly specifying their position and size. How to use that? We will use the canvas. Now let's see with an example. Here I will replace it with canvas. Okay. Now we have to remove this row and column. And here we have to specify the position. Means canvas dot bottom. From bottom I will say. 30 okay and this is the position and from left i will say 40 like this we can set the position of control so here i will say from right 90 and from left 30 like that we can do for all i will say top 90 top 90 right 30 now let's run and see you can see the position see the first row second column first row second column it is you can see from the bottom it is at 30th means this is the y axis and this is x axis okay like that it will show the text block on windows in this tutorial we learn how to use wpf layout panels to arrange and size controls in our user interface that's all for this video if you found this video helpful let's share with your